Hi everyone, I'm Kristina Blazin. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Milo Massimo. We are a Salesforce CPQ partner. In Salesforce CPQ, it's possible to personalize uh, your quotes and give them a professional and organized look by adding images to them. So the first thing we can and should do is add a company logo. Uh, we recommend that you use uh, high resolution images to make sure that you avoid pixelation and uh, distortion. But make sure the size of the file is as small as possible in order not to exceed the five megabyte file size for the quote document. Now, given that you're not going to be able to make changes to the logo after you upload it, uh, make sure that uh, you resize it uh, in an image editor outside of Salesforce. Or you can make sure that somebody in the marketing department creates it with the right height and the right resolution and that it's ready for printing in case you choose to print your quotes. Secondly, we can add a watermark image to the background of each page of a quote document. This way, um, you can mark a document as a draft and make sure that it will not be confused with the final version. Uh, these two actions, adding the logo and adding the watermark are very similar because we store the images uh, in the documents folder and then we retrieve them with the help of the IDs. Now, uh, we must be in Salesforce Classic to view the Documents tab because it is not available in Lightning. Let's switch to... Let's switch to, uh, to Salesforce Classic. And let's navigate to the Documents tab. Okay, here you should click New. But I've already prepared this one to show you. So um, first you should enter the details, the document name, and uh, make sure that you check the externally available image field, which indicates that the logo is available for HTML email templates, for letterheads. And uh, also make sure that you choose um, other folder than the My Personal Documents, uh, which will not be accessible by users other than the owner of the document. This is because the folder containing the image must be shared with users who are working with the quote documents. So let me choose the Salesforce CPK assets and uh, let's click Save. Okay, uh, now we should copy the ID of the file we have just uploaded. Okay, this one, this is actually the last part of the URL of the document record. It is located after the final slash and it's a combination of letters and uh, numbers. Okay, uh, let's copy it and uh, let's go to the quote template and uh, paste the ID into the logo document ID field like this and click save. Okay, notice that there is also the watermark ID field. Uh, this one is going to work a little bit differently, but uh, before we do our watermark, um, let's go back to the quote or let's go to a quote and preview to see whether the logo is indeed working. Okay, preview document. Okay, template chosen and preview again. Okay, here it is on our document. Now let's proceed with the watermark. This is another kind of image uh, we can add to our document. However, what's different about it is that we don't always want the watermark to appear. And uh, it would make sense uh, to make it appear conditionally because we don't want to create a template uh, with a watermark and uh, a separate template without it. Automating it uh, based on the quote status would be the perfect solution. Now, while still in classic, uh, in setup, uh, go to the Documents tab and click Go uh, next to the Salesforce CPQ Assets folder. Here we have the draft watermark. Uh, click on the link for it. 
and uh, copy the ID. Of course, uh, you could download your own uh, image instead of using the standard one. Okay, then um, let's go to the quote template. I think it's here, right? And paste the ID into the watermark field, then save. Now it's important to mention that in uh, CPQ, we have two watermark related fields. One is the watermark ID field on the quote template, and the other is the watermark shown field on the quote record itself. So these two work in conjunction. Let's go to the quote. Okay. Quote. And here it is in the quote options section, the watermark shown field. Let's mark it as true and save. Now we can preview the document to make sure that the watermark image applied to it. Okay, here you have it. The draft watermark applied to both pages of the quote document. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.